You guys, I just did this entire reading with the camera off. So I'm going to go over it with you because it's only a daily reading and I don't have time to redo it. Um, all right. We're just going to go over it. And if anybody doesn't like that, just click off now. We don't need the complainers. Uh, this just, I can't believe this happened where the camera somehow must have turned off and I didn't even notice. We have the four of swords and we have the six of coins as we come into the reading. And this is somebody who's healing from this. See, look at all the takers. Uh, you know, this is some kind of a depletion that she's gone through. Something that you've needed to heal from where, you know, everybody was take, take, take. That's what that card reminds me of. And that was in, I think that was in yesterday's reading as well. Our two Oracle cards were bittersweet and self-worth, which makes me feel like you went through something that was bittersweet because it was very difficult, but it ended up giving you, helping you find your self-worth. All right. So as we came into the reading, I hate that these are already laid out for you, but I just saw it on the camera and was like, what? We've got the devil, we have the princess of wands, and we have the nine of cups. All right, now, that's where we started. And then we have, I'm going to put all these down and we'll talk about these afterwards. We have the ten of swords reversed, the star reversed, and the ten of cups reversed. They all are something that happened, like these ten swords happened and caused you a lot of disappointment. Star and ten of cups reversed. That's a lot of disappointment and it's a lot of healing that's happening here with the four swords and the star reversed from all this take, 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 right? I clarified these and I got the seven of swords in the reverse, which is bad, right? But it's better in the reverse because it means you know about it, you see it, whatever this person was doing to cause you all this, it's out in the open. All right, now back up to the top with the devil and what comes out but the eight of swords. So this is something that you are stuck in or you feel stuck in, like you're in your mind, you're stuck in this. Um, but it could be something like maybe it's a contract or something. All right, but you have this, oh, you have these beautiful, I did these together. The princess of wands and the nine of cups is this gorgeous energy that, and by the way, this is the reading for the 29th, I believe it was, of July, which is, is it 29th? Yeah, which is Monday. All right, so you're probably watching this on Sunday. Uh, apologies for this happening, guys, but, you know, what am I going to do? So we have the princess and the nine of wands, which is this beautiful energy. And I, you know, when all this came out, the devil, the ten of swords, the star reversed, the ten of cups reversed, I literally said this is like a thorn. I mean, like a rose in the middle of a bunch of thorns in this reading. But that's exactly what this self-worth card is like, you know, through all the thorns, I made it to the rose in the center, you know. That's what it feels like to me. So this really, whatever happened with all this very hard, harsh energy is taking you to a place that's, you know, a billion times better. All right. We have the Princess of Wands who came out reversed on top of the Princess of Wands and the Nine of Cups. I did them together. All right. Then I asked again and the Five of Wands came out in the reverse. All right, so this just tells me whatever you've been going through, whatever dramas have happened, you're leaving them behind. Your five of wands reversed, your 10 of swords reversed, and your seven of swords reversed, telling me that you're purging this time in your life. This is definitely a new cycle because at one time we even had the 10 of wands show up at the bottom of the deck. And the Ten of Swords sits at the bottom of the deck right now. I am kid you not, I just happened to look at it. I was looking to see if the Ten of Wands was at the bottom of the deck and the t because it did come out at one point. And sometimes when a bottom card shows up at the bottom, it keeps showing up, so we'll talk about it. It's not there, but the Ten of Swords is there. And it's in the reverse again. So Spirit is saying, look, you're at, you're at Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords, and Ten of Cups. This cycle that you've dealt with is done. Um, yeah, even behind here is the fool in the reverse telling me that you're about to take off into a new beginning. Uh, the five of swords after a really difficult, this was very difficult situation. You've got temperance there and you got the world. I didn't even go back and look at these when I did the reading. So this new cycle's coming in for you in divine timing. There's something happening here where you're going to end up in you're going to end up in that throne you're going to be the queen in that throne all right now 
since I had to do this the way I did, I'm going to pull after tarot for you. I don't do this on daily readings that often, but I think I did it on yesterday's reading. One of the most recent ones I just did it on. So let's find out. Spirit and angels, what is next here? Let's talk about what's next. Daily reading for the 29th of July. Okay, all right, all right. The Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment, also the Sun. I do feel like this could, this beautiful, blessed change could happen during this Lionsgate portal. Again, I'm going to add the video to the end. And Spirit says it's your choice, something about your choice to go into that sun. This is someone who chooses to get on the ship. You know, when the, when my ship comes in, will I get on it? Yeah, sure. It's going to take you to your self-worth. You can stay out in the cold with, you know, see how she gets up and she's like, she can either stay out there with them out in the cold or she can get up and go inside. You can go get on your ship. You can follow the sun beautiful energy and the nine of cups wish fulfillment you're gonna love what comes next the pen, ace of pentacles sits at the bottom it's a new opportunity new beginning you're gonna love this i'm gonna ask another couple questions since we do have the time the page of swords almost came out and in this deck that would be three times the page of swords i mean not swords wands page of wands in this deck the page of wands walks away from the past and into their new beginning uh that's what almost popped out Tell me about this reading and what we need to know about what's next here. The lovers, it's a decision. It's your own. When the lovers comes out with another decision card, it's simply a decision. It doesn't have to be about love, but, you know, to each their own. Can we get another one here, please? What is this about? Anything on the decision Yeah, Seven of Wands and the Hermit. It's your decision to really see it for what it is. Look how the one person is at the top of the pile there and all those wands are coming at them, just like all these hands were coming at them, just like I said, the Five of Wands. I don't know if I said it this time or in the last time when I was recording with no video playing. Um, this, sometimes the five of wands for me is a bunch of things coming at somebody, just like these hands are all coming at her, just like these wands are all coming at one person. And it's up to you to decide who's the snake and who's loyal or to see it for what it is and to go on the journey to discover your star, which you haven't achieved yet because it's here in the reverse with the 10 of cups reversed and the, the swords there, the 10 of swords reversed. So this really says to me, follow the sun follow what you can see follow what you've learned you know this has been a bittersweet journey but in it all you're going to find your self-worth and you're going to find your way to your joy it's going to happen it's just a matter of making the right decisions yet another decision card you have so many decision cards here that just came out at the end the two of pentacles the lovers and the two of swords all say to me this is a decision that's for you to make for you to determine i mean it could be like a spiritual test really especially if you're in a really crappy relationship or this has somebody has just drained you to no end i think that's what yesterday's reading was about i believe I, i'm trying to remember but i think it was please do watch yesterday's reading if you feel this at all resonates with you because i do kind of feel like they might be connected Anyway, good luck, you guys. Thanks for understanding. Stuff happens sometimes when you're dealing with videos and, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Thanks so much for being here. I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to hit the like. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.